Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the generator function. So when a normal function is called, the entire function is run. With a generator function, you call it and using certain keywords, you know, which we're going to show you in a second called yield, you essentially allow it to sort of, you know, pause at a particular moment and then you can call the next little bit. And this is great if you want to, you know, pass in a bunch of data but you want the function maybe to alert the user of what they're putting in so you don't directly put it in as parameters. So let me just, you know, show you. So to do function, and I say, I'll say favorites, favorites. And the way you indicate a generator function is by putting an asterisk here. So that tells the JavaScript interpreter that it is a generate function so in here we're going to create a variable and we're going to call it pizza say equals to yield and now you put a quotation mark and now what we are going to say we are going to say is what is your favorite favorite pizza then we're going to say var and we'll say do, 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 game equals yield. And we're going to say what is your favorite game? And we'll do one more. I'll just copy this and I'll do it for movie. Movie. What is your favorite movie? And now what we're going to actually do is we're going to return here. And what we are actually going to return is going to be something pretty darn cool. And we are going to return. So you want to put some some I'm trying to find where it is on my keyboard. The particular type of I seem to have lost it. What is going on? Oh, we've got a bunch of random characters here. We've got loads of random characters. Sorry, I don't know what, what, what the hell I was doing. So I'm going to return name and I'm going to do dot and then I'm going to say P, no, not name, Peter dot game dot moving return that and the way we call it is if we create a variable and we call it q for question equals favorites like so and then we're going to do console.log and we're going to say favorites or q dot next so this is basically going to get the next you know part in there the next yield and we can get that and what we're gonna do is is just quickly do a few more and the next one is where we actually pass in the parameters of pizza I'm gonna say cheese um, for game I'll say half life and finally for movie I'll say the dark knight and if we say let us see what we get so we get some errors and uh, so it's called it what is your favorite pizza what is your favorite game what is your favorite movie line 10 okay so this right here it is more about this do, 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 do. Ah, okay, we can. Sorry, we can't do that. We can just do a console log. Sorry, we can do a console log like so. We can say pizza dot game plus movie. As you can see, obviously, we preferably need some quotation marks. And as an extra task, what I want you to do is add 
some text in here just saying, you know, my favorite pizza and this is my favorite game whilst I like watching this. As you can see, we um... okay. Yeah, everything looks okay. Yeah, everything's okay. And um, could we just get rid of this? And we need that final line. So okay. So this allows us to create a generator function and this next keyword just goes through each individual yield and it's almost like asking the question in itself, but instead of doing it here, then passing them all in as parameters, we can just you know group them all up. So this is a great way if you have like a bunch of questions and you need to redo it again and again, you have the answers, you can just pass them in like so. So that's generation generator functions. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.